guys, what is going on? I am here at my friend Ben in Lorenzo's hey, place. <laughs> What's going on, guys? And I decided to take this on the road a little bit. You know, I'm always doing these lives where, you know, I'm at the shop. You guys see a lot of things. So I figured I'd come over my friend's place that have some amazing animals and uh, kind of show you a cool reptile collection that you guys may not have seen very much. I did do a vlog over here once, but they're always getting new and cool animals. So there's some new stuff. Plus, we can kind of revisit some things. And, and we'll answer your guys' questions as we go. Hey, thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are awesome. Hope that you guys enjoy this. Uh, let me give you a really quick just kind of overview. I mean, take a look at the emerald tree boas here. I mean, these things are crazy. Huh? Look at the little Euro mastics back here. Uh, we've got a parrot snake up here, a little uh, 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 temple viper up here, waggler eye. Uh, there's, uh, there's just so much stuff. I mean, I cannot wait to show you guys a bunch of stuff. And of course, we're going to talk to these bozos here. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions, for uh, again it's Ben and Lorenzo hey guys, if, if you guys have any questions for them please ask because they have this really cool kind of uh, eclectic collection of reptiles you know they're they're into like you know they bred some emerald tree boas so we'll show you the babies that they produce and they breed stuff but really they're just kind of into really cool animals so I'm excited to show you stuff like uh, you guys just recently got a Mexican came, uh, speckled caiman right yes, yeah uh, it's, it's awesome really, really cool uh, it's awesome so you know that's something that you don't see that often so we're gonna show you that stuff and uh, a bunch of other stuff we're Regardless. But uh, anyways, I, I hope that you guys are having an absolutely incredible day. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, Bolin's Python. Someone said something about Bolin's Pythons. Ironically enough, I saw a list this morning that had baby Bolin's Pythons on it. And I am very, very curious whether or not I'm going to do this. Oh, and Ben just hands me, look at this cute little monkey right here. Is this thing the cutest little thing? Again, this is a Mexican spectacle caiman. And you know, the caimans are kind of a smaller crocodilian. And typically they're, you know, they're pretty feisty little guys guys you know they, they definitely have a lot of energy it's funny because anyone that knows like alligators are kind of like the puppy dogs of the crocodile world they're kind of more slow moving so like that crocodiles typically are much more aggressive I shouldn't say aggressive much more explosive athletic so the caiman are like a miniature version of that explosive athleticism and uh, look at how cute that is with that little tiny snow I mean I think in those big old eyes I mean what do you guys know uh, tell me a little bit about this guy I mean you guys got him just for last month or so or yeah yeah we got him last month um, he's a great great it's actually a girl she's, oh, it's a girl. Yeah, she's doing really oh, well my gosh. and we got her on uh, the crocodilian diet oh, okay. and some minnows oh, and it actually awesome. goes in the tank and kind of hunts with you with your hands when oh. you're trying to you know get oh, fish and everything for it yeah it's a cool little critter that you is so about three and a half feet too right yeah so these guys are again the smaller three and a half foot that's not much at all so uh anyway so yeah again thank you guys what is going on i'll answer a couple questions someone said something about a viper yes there is actually a waggler's viper right here uh as well as uh, over here there's another waggler's viper right here look at how beautiful that one is right there so uh yeah <laughs> Yeah, I think that that's the only uh, venomous stuff that these guys keep. You guys, when are you guys get the king cobras? Uh, I don't know. We got a little more practice for that. <laughs> yeah, I think gonna 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 do that. yeah, I'm gonna do that uh, again. Let's see. What do you? Someone said you have a question. Please shoot. That's what I'm here for. Uh, hey Sweden, what is going on? Uh, let's see. What do you guys got? Gosh, this moves so fast. Hey Jane, what's going on from the UK? How are you? Um, how's everything going? Hopefully Josette's on here from our Facebook group. Hello to you. Uh, let's see. Someone from says YouTube. I don't know what that means. Someone from Italy, Florida. You guys are all great. Uh, someone's from Detroit, the UK. Hey, I'm from Detroit. Well, not really from. From Detroit, but I'm kind of from Detroit. Uh, but anyways, let's show you some other stuff. I'm going to hand this guy back over here. And you know what I want to show you that is so adorable? Take a look at this little dude right here. Oh my gosh, this thing is so unbelievably cute. Take a look at him. Is he amazing? Uh, this, of course, is a little sulcata, just like Speedy or Savvy. But does anyone know what this one is actually called? Let's see your, your smarts right now. Um, and by the way, thank you guys for the super chats. I see a couple super chats. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. This is actually what they would call an ivory mutation of a sulcata or African spurthite. So it's a recessive mutation. And you can see it almost looks like white compared to the normal brown and tan with like the normal patterning on it that a normal sulcata has. Yeah, so instead of leucistic, these are very similar to what a leucistic would be. Uh, as a matter of fact, they might even be really considered leucistic. They call them ivory. But... Um, 
It's a pretty cool little animal. Look at how cute that little face is. Is that thing absolutely adorable? So uh, it, it's really good. Um, Jane said something. I don't know what you said. Elijah from Port Huron. How are you, Elijah? Uh, let's see. Shout out to somebody, everybody. <laughs> uh, these, these things go. You guys try to answer some of these questions. <laughs> Holy cow, they're going so fast. <laughs> I know. It's like, it's... <laughs> yeah, you can't even read. I love it. You guys are great. I love it. And I do the best here. Someone said nice shirt. Yes, speaking of shirts, I will put a link in the description afterwards. Our new merch drops tomorrow but i tell you what i'll put the link in there and you guys can get in on it early it's actually bella eating a banana and it says bananas i love it so uh again tomorrow it drops officially but i'll put a link in the description with this over and you guys can pick up your swag it's only available for two weeks so it's a flash sale two weeks you don't get it you don't ever get it it'd be shirts long sleeve shirts hoodies uh in several different colors so that's cool so anyways uh oklahoma how are you oklahoma uh will i get bowling's pythons i just talked about that i'm thinking about getting some uh, hey, Puerto Rico, what's up in the house? Uh, Candace, thank you for your super chat. Uh, Pennsylvania, uh, let's see here. Uh, what are we going to show next? You guys, oh, there's Australia. What's going on? I'm going to put this little guy back really quick. So he's going to go back in. See you later, buddy. Be good. Be free. <laughs> Look at the little snapping turtle over here. This is a little Bowser. It's an alligator snapping turtle in the, in the thing. And we're going to show you some uh, of these babies uh, from this pair of emerald tree boas in a little bit. Uh, what do you want to show me now? Yeah, yeah. I'll, hey, I'll look at anything, right? <laughs> what do you guys want to say? Oh, these are a cool. male black pine. Ooh. Okay, look at this little guy here. Oh, you guys hear him? How cute is that? Oh, guys, so this is actually a black pine snake. And what's kind of interesting about the black pine snakes is that these guys were pretty prevalent in the pet trade for the last 20 or so years. Uh, but believe it or not, now you can't transport them across state lines. So Ben and Lorenzo were able to pick this up from a breeder here in Michigan. So you can buy them in the state, no problem, but they can't cross state lines anymore, which is kind of a bummer. So uh, it's it's a shame because these black pines are so adorable. And now you can't like take them or get them from a reptile show unless you live in the same state. So uh, anyways, uh, let's see what's got. Hey from Poland, how are you? Uh, let's see. What, oh gosh, you guys are killing me with these things. Uh, do I smoke weed? No, I don't smoke weed. I actually don't drink and I don't do drugs. Uh, I'm not really against whatever you want to do as long as it doesn't harm anybody, but I do not personally partake because uh, I'll be honest with you, I've got so much going on in my life. I can't afford to be drunk or high or anything else like that. Plus, I'm high in life. You know how that goes. Uh, <laughs> what's going on UK? Uh, what's happening from Kentucky, Georgia? Uh, do you guys have any blue tongue skins? We do not. No, no blue tongue skins. We got a friend that's got a lot of them. Though. Yeah, yeah. I wonder who that is. <laughs> I'm going to put this guy back. Oh, and this is another. So the black pine snakes are actually a pituophis, a genus of pituophis. And uh, this, of course, is another one here. But this is an albino bull snake, uh, which is really amazing. Now, the pituophis are usually all pretty big animals. Bull snakes can get like nine foot long. I mean, look at how beautiful that snake is right there. Is that thing awesome or what? And, uh, and again, these are all, you know, pituophis is what, you know, like reptile keepers will call this kind of genus. And uh, that goes with pines, gophers, and all that type of stuff so they're pretty awesome animals uh do i like harry potter yes of course i like harry potter who doesn't like harry potter hello from missouri uk what is going on washington michigan new mexico carolina uh germany poland uh get a black mamba hey brazil what's going on brazil uh oh this is another one ben is just handing me these things look at, look at this guy over here he's like the wrangler over here <laughs> and this is actually i uh, saw so this this is why I wanted to come visit Ben and Lorenzo is because they're uh, they're great people, number one, some of my dearest friends, and they have such awesome animals, and I knew that you guys would really like seeing their collection because I think it's one of the coolest, like, eclectic collections around. I think it's really cool. But this is actually a black D. Alberts python. Now... The D. Alberts really come in two things. There's north and south, and the black ones are the ones that are slightly larger and typically a little bit more mellow than the gold phase. The gold phase just typically is a little bit jerks, to be honest with you. But uh, uh, <laughs> and he's, like, he's like, he's just like, Next. yeah, yeah. You know when you see like Jack Hanna and to the Tonight Show or something like that, and there's people just bringing animals. These guys are just like no, lining no. up. Oh my gosh. So, uh, anyway, so we're gonna definitely be able to show you guys a bunch of really cool stuff and all. So uh, certainly have some fun and answer stuff. Uh, hey, you black mamba. I don't know what that means. Uh, Sinaloan milks. Um, 
Hey from Argentina, Romania, how are you guys? How are you guys doing today? Hey from Italy and Serbia, you guys are awesome. Again, thank you so much for joining me today uh, and joining us today, Ben and Lorenzo as well. Like I said, I want to thank them personally uh, because they allowed me to come over and kind of take over their reptile room uh, to have you guys over. And also, let me know if you guys are digging the fact I wouldn't mind traveling around and doing some of these live events uh, from other collections if you guys really want me to. This is actually what they would call a cave rat snake or a uh, um, a ridley eye which is it's just an absolutely beautiful snake i mean it's it's really cool now these are again these are a tiniera and they get relatively long uh, but again these guys live in caves as you can see and they're just amazing snakes so uh, let's see let me answer a couple of other things uh, everyone's just shouting out where they're from tucson florida arizona san antonio texas hey you guys love you guys so much i appreciate you and for those of you guys that did um for those of you guys that did Super Chat, thank you guys for your support. It means the world to me. Hey, Malaysia, Spain, Utah, what's going on, Germany? <laughs> it's really awesome. So, uh, oh my gosh, oh this, oh, this is pretty exciting here. I want to show you this right here. This one is really cool, and I'm going to let uh, uh, Ben handle this because, you know, I just got bit by the, the counterpart to this. So, Ben and Lorenzo are the ones that got our... Uh, puffing snake you know they actually have the puffing snake and I take care of it well they just recently got this animal right here which is another puffing snake but the thing that's amazing you can see it's blue and this one seems to be a little bit more chill than the other one yeah, check but the thing tail yeah I mean it's just see how cool that tail is it's just pattern I know it's crazy how long it is and just what a long incredible colubrid snake but the good news is, is the puffing snake that we have is a female and we're pretty sure that this is a male so that's going to be awesome man we can put them together and hopefully we're going to get some babies but this guy you can see how long it is i mean that's got to be yeah, a good eight and a half feet eight and a half yeah. feet isn't that crazy so we're going to be able to uh, put them together hopefully pretty soon after he sheds out and hopefully we'll get some baby puffing snakes because i just will absolutely freak out about that for sure um again any racers we do uh they have a parrot snake that is pretty awesome that we're going to show you in a minute too that i think is really really cool uh as a matter of fact did you say we're going to try to feed the parrot snake maybe yeah yep awesome so buckle up guys we're about to feed a parrot snake and uh these guys are just really wild now they are lizard eaters so if you guys don't like to see lizards getting eaten uh close your eyes because they do eat lizards um and i'm not i'm not a huge fan of reptiles eating reptiles but at the same time that's what they eat and there's nothing we can do about that so um hey balls and bulldogs how are you good to see you it's hey from south africa i'll see you guys in may orlando what is going on from la i'll be out in la the first week in uh, in April to do some collab stuff, have some fun. So I'll see you guys there. Hey, Miami, I hope I get down there to you guys too. Uh, let's see, it says rip lizards. <laughs> hey. uh, so what do you got? Okay, so we got a little lizard here. Let's see what happens. I have no idea what's gonna happen here. This is, this is live. I mean, we have no idea how this is gonna go. Let's see. All right, we're here. Oh, look at this guy. Woo. Let's see if it takes it. Oh. oh, I think it's seen it a little bit. Did it take it? No. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, look at this snake. Look at this thing. Okay, there. Oh my gosh, that thing is crazy. Oh, did you see that? Holy moly. Okay, I'm going to cut away, guys. So that is basically as raw as you're going to get it. You guys know that I don't really show live feeding stuff, so you kind of got a glimpse of that, but uh, that was pretty impressive. I mean, that parrot snake is ridiculous. I mean, that is crazy, you know. Uh, take a look at this Euromastic. Is that thing beautiful right there? So, wow, that, that parrot snake blew me away. Do you see how quick that thing moved? I mean, that is absolutely ridiculous. So, uh, anyways, that's awesome. Oh, and here's the little Euro. Look at this thing. Oh my god, he is the cutest little guy in the world. I mean, gosh, what's the deal with this guy? He's just been doing good. He's brightening up and oh my gosh, fun to play with. Oh my gosh. He's like he's a turtle, a tortoise without a shell. <laughs> he really is. Vegetarian, his little head. I know, yeah, these guys are vegetarians. They eat like peas and other things like that. They eat little like seeds. 
uh, they are super cool. But look at how cool that little face is. Is that thing absolutely incredible? Oh my gosh. So uh, anyways, uh, chunky, cute little lizard. Yeah, you know, this guy's a little chunky monkey, isn't he? That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Love me, you're romantic. So do I. Uh, you made the live stream. Thank you for finally joining me. I'm so happy that you guys did. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see here. Um, look like Yoshi. <laughs> Any white lips? We actually just showed a white lip python. That Black D. Alberts python is actually a white lip python. So, uh, so that's that. Let's go ahead and um, uh, what do you got for me now? I'm going to put this little guy, this little monkey back right here. There we go, bud. Have, have fun. See ya. Okay. Okay, so this is basically... This is basically another white lip python, but like I told you, there is the black phase and then there's the gold phase. The gold phase is what most people would, would really consider the, the uh, white lip pythons, and you can see that this is it right here to give you an idea. And you can see that really defined like black head with the white lip, and it has a really beautiful gold tone. And the iridescence, if you've seen this like in the light, I mean, it is just, you can see the, the all the colors of the rainbow. It is absolutely incredible. Hey from Italy, hey from Egypt. Egypt. What is going on, guys? I hope that you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me today. Seriously, you guys mean the world to me. Um, I think we're going to end this with a couple other things. I'm not leaving yet, so hang on with me. Take, take a look. I think we're going to uh, check a couple things out. We're actually going to check out a little bamboo racer, which is freaking awesome. And uh, I'm going to hand this snake this way and give him this snake that way. And take a look at this one right here. Oh my gosh. So uh, Bamboo Racer is uh, is basically, it's a Porphyracea. It's an Asian rat snake. And oh my gosh, these things are absolutely incredible. I mean, take a look at the color of that. Isn't that thing cool? Oh my gosh. And by the way, um, I wanted to, again, continue to thank Ben and Lorenzo, my friends that are kind of helping me here. Uh, Lorenzo, what's your Instagram? I don't have one. You don't have an Instagram? Oh my gosh, I was about to shout his Instagram out. Is there anything you'd like me to shout out? No, there's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I love these guys. You know, normally everyone's like, yeah, hey, give me some followers. They're like, no, nah, I don't have anything. Take a look at this green tree python. Oh my gosh, that thing is gorgeous, dude. Wow, look at the head on that thing. Like I said, I mean, is, is it not true that this collection is freaking awesome? I mean, I love it because it's like super, again, it's super eclectic. You've got, you know, Porphyracea, you've got green tree pythons, you've got, you know, all kinds of stuff. He's got a carpet python here that's absolutely incredible, a, a jaguar carpet. I mean, look at the color on that thing. That thing is incredible. Everywhere you look, again, emerald tree boas over here. We've got, you know, wagglers, vipers. Everywhere you look, there is something awesome. I mean, this is like kind of that dream room. In a way, you know, even even though our zoo is going to be a little bit different than this, this kind of reminds me like a little miniature version because there's just so many cool animals and the setups are really cool. So it's really cool. Uh, let's see. What do you guys got going on? Hey, from Ontario, Sweden, Wisconsin, Denmark. Uh, are you coming to Tinley Park? I'm not sure if I'm going to be there, to be honest with you. I'm kind of at that point where I just don't know if I want to go to reptile shows this year. I might take the whole year off of really going. Uh, Josette, how are you? You're finally in the house. Thank you for your super chat. You shouldn't do that, Josette. I mean, you do so much for me. She, Josette runs our Facebook fan page. Uh, definitely, I'll put a link down in the description. Go check that out. Thank you for all your, your help with that and stuff like that. Hey, Mexico, Carolina. Uh, let's see. Cheboygan. Oh, my gosh. Cheboygan. That's crazy. Uh, I'm going to put this. Give me one second here. I'm going to put this snake back really quick, and then we're going to show you the next cool snake that is really cool. Um, and that's this girl here take a look at this girl oh doggy isn't that thing gorgeous oh my gosh that thing is cool of course this is a mangrove snake and uh it is absolutely incredible isn't it i mean there's just something about that black and yellow animal and you guys have seen so hopefully with any luck we're gonna have some babies this year so uh you know fingers crossed uh i think i'm going to show you guys some baby emerald tree bows before we get out of here okay so uh i'm going to hand this off here and again, you got to be a little careful when you're handling that stuff because uh, you don't want to get bit, obviously, by something even that's rear fang venomous. So, um, hey, what's up, Sweden? What's going on? Some more in in Michigan. What is happening? And again, I'm going to show you some baby emerald tree boas uh, that came from this adult pair right here uh, before we get out of here. And in the meantime, I'll continue to try to answer some of your questions. So uh, what do you say we look at some, some emeralds? Sounds good. It? All right, which one do you want to show me? You want green or red? Okay, so it's interesting. I think you just whatever you want to see. <laughs> so what's interesting is that, you know, typically they're born red, uh, but what's interesting is they had six babies, and, and how many were green and how many were red? Two were green, two were red. Oh, so what? 
two and two. I mean, don't two, two green, two green forward. <laughs> I was gonna I'm say, sorry. you know, I'm not the best at math, but you know, two <laughs> two plus two is not six. Uh, so so this is basically what they would normally look like as babies right here, is this red phase right here. That's what how almost all green or emerald tree boas are born. But some of them came out this way, right like this, which you said there were two of them like that, right? Two, yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh, how cool is that? So look at that. Tell me in the comments really quick, which ones you like more? Do you like the green ones or do you like the red ones? And this or, is a cross in between. Yeah, and this is, gives you an idea of one that's kind of a little bit green and a little bit red. I mean, oh freaking. So, okay, so we've got red, we've got green red, and we've got green. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, how freaking awesome are those animals? I mean, that is super, super cool. So, um, and yeah, look at it. And, and you said, Ben, you said the green ones are tame, basically. They bite, they bite less than the, the, the orange oh. ones. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, famous last words. Yeah. And they don't bite that much, and he gets bit. Oh my gosh, how's that feel? Uh, it hurts. It, oh. goes, it goes deep, but it's not bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that's cool. The big ones hurt more. <laughs> the big ones definitely hurt more. That's awesome. So, uh, all right. So, uh, what kind is what's my favorite snake? I can never pick uh, a favorite snake, to be honest with you. Hey, from Italy. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to answer a few more things before we get out of here. Yeah, the waggler. I see he's got a couple wagglers. Oh, and by the way, that's what happens when you get bit by even a baby, baby. Even something that size right there can cause that bite, which is pretty crazy, to be honest with you. Hey, Ryan, thank you for the super chat thank you so much uh again here's one of the wagglers right here uh he's got another one uh, a little bit on the other side over there um hey chicago nana how are you it's good to see you i told you this morning you got to come visit me sometime get your butt over here from chicago <laughs> but uh anyways uh hey las vegas new mexico mexico sydney australia sydney i love that town i tell you what i've spent a lot of time in sydney and i absolutely love it down there i can't wait to get back uh let's see uh hey thank you for the super chat guys seriously it means the world to me you guys are awesome uh let's see holland south dakota um what else is going on guys before we get out of here like i said i'm going to get out of here in a couple minutes but i definitely want to spend some time trying to answer your questions if at all possible uh again here's the here to give you an idea this is the little uh this is the waggler eye right here i mean look at how gorgeous that is huh wow that's crazy. And of course, they call those temple vipers as well. That is a beautiful, beautiful animal. Uh, hey, Cape Town, how's it going? How's the water situation down there in Cape Town? You guys going to be all right? Because I know, like, isn't your, your day zero or whatever coming up pretty soon? I'm scared for you guys. I hope that you guys get that figured out. Um, let's see. What's up from Greece? What's going on? Uh, let's see. Florida. <laughs> Brian, take a bite from an emerald tree ball. No, Ben, ben did that. It's fine. It's, it's 100. This one's uh, nice, I promise. That yeah, one's yeah. really nice, I yeah. promise. That one looks like it's really nice, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, please put your hand in there because it'd be good. Oh, my gosh. Um, all right, let's see. What's the biggest snake? Uh, well, my biggest snake is Lucy, of course, and that she's about 20 foot, just shy of 20 foot, uh, a little over 200 pounds. She's, she's a big girl, getting bigger only. Uh, hey, Denmark, Brazil, uh, enjoy the vlog. Thank you so much. I hope you guys can watch the vlog. Um, new merch dropping tomorrow please hook up that merch for me please 14 days only we got to jump on that so it's going to be awesome it's bella and bananas it's going to be awesome i cannot wait to share with you guys you'll see that in tomorrow's vlog as well as uh, on my instagram and everything else like that uh anyways guys i am going to get out of here i want to thank you guys, guys. again we'll see you. Uh, thanks, thanks for guys coming so much it's <laughs> awesome and again i hope that you enjoyed it let me know once i post this in the comments what you feel like and what you want to do and uh remember to be kind to someone today and i promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning.